Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 on the Tom FM channel for the final episode of the F. M20 beta save with Manchester United. Now, of course, last time you were here, things didn't quite go so well. Last time you were here, we lost our games to PS. We actually lost the first one 3 0. We won the second one 2 1, but of course, lost 4 2 on aggregate there. So that was really disappointing to get knocked out of the Champions League in the quarterfinal stage. PSG have done in their remaining games, I presume, quite well. If we look at this, they are still in the schedule, please. That's what I want. They're still in the Champions League. They beat Atletico Madrid in the semi-final. They faced Liverpool in the final. So hopefully, I mean, I'd, I'd like to see Liverpool win for an English side, but also PSG beat us. I'd, I'd rather lose to the eventual winners. So I wouldn't really mind who wins. We're not talking about that today, though. Today, we're going to be talking about our game against Tottenham, the final one of the Premier League season, which is pretty much going to guarantee our third place finish, which I think we've been in since probably like the third or fourth week of the season. And we also have an FA Cup final against Liverpool of all teams. We've just lost to Liverpool, I think, constantly this this season or this little series we've done. Um, they actually won twice in the FA Cup sixth round. That was an important one last season on the way to winning it. And we did win 1-0 in the league. Uh, but other than that, we have been pummeled by Liverpool. So hopefully today we change that, turn it around and win an FA Cup against them. To have two FA Cups in two seasons, which isn't too bad. Uh, the remaining Premier League games that we have, we actually started off with a 2-1 win over Chelsea uh, in the FA Cup semi-final. Rashford and Alberto with the goals in that one. So that was nice to get a win over Chelsea this season. Uh, we then lost two games on the trot against teams we should be comfortably beating. A 3-2 loss to Burnley and a 4-2 loss to West Ham United. Both away games, but we should be doing better in those sort of situations. We then, though, came back out of all, you know, after all of that, we pummeled Man City 3-0. They beat us 3-0 earlier on in the season. Uh, Cavani getting a brace and Christopher I getting one as well. I was expecting us to lose 5 or 6-0 in that game after those results to Burnley and West Ham. Don't know why we didn't play well in those games. I guess it was just being tied after all these other games in April, I presume. We didn't even have a week off for the Man City game. We came back on a Wednesday and then just won. So fair play. Since then, uh, we had a 1-0 win against Stoke and then a 1-1 draw with Southampton. So hopefully we finish things off on a good note against Tottenham. As you can see, we sit on 80 points, 12 points behind City and 17 points behind Liverpool, who are worthy winners of the Premier League this season. So the lineup for today's game then is De Gea in goal. Uh, we've got lot in the left-back position on the grounds that Sandro and Luke Shaw are both injured. Uh, Skriniar and Ayer is the centre-back partnership with Wambasaka at right-back. Pogba and Party, oops, get rid of that. Pogba and Party in the centre midfield partnership with Everton, Luis Alberto, Bernadeschi just ahead of them and Cavani leading the line for us today. I think this is plenty good enough to be beating Tottenham today. Uh, we are pretty much guaranteed for a third place finish at this stage as well, so it doesn't really mean too much, but it's a bit of a warm up and practice for the FA Cup final. So kickoff is upon us here today and the first highlight looks like it's a Tottenham goal kick as they look to come forward to try and grab some points towards the end of the season. They can't finish any higher than sixth or any lower than sixth. So sixth is where they're going to finish this season. Similar situation for us as we're going to finish third. Again, doesn't really matter too much because they've just scored a goal. It's not affecting anything really. So what I wanted to do really with this Tottenham game was just to say thank you to you guys for watching this series. Uh, we started off the idea of this, obviously, a beta save is to sort of go through the new features. And I don't think I really did any of that because I got too distracted by actually really, really enjoying this Manchester United. I didn't think I would. I don't normally enjoy the saves of bigger clubs, but actually I really enjoyed this one. It was good fun. And we got to spend a lot of money, which is not usual for me until we get like 20 seasons in the future. And even then we spent 300 million this past summer and I've never, ever done that before. I've never spent that much money. So I was really excited to play all that as Danny Rose gets his first of the season for Tottenham to make it 2-0. But I think you guys have really enjoyed it as well. Lots of positive comments, lots of likes, things like that. So thank you ever so much for, for watching and sticking along with this one. Uh, at times it's probably been a bit painful watching me pronounce names wrong and going attacking constantly when really perhaps on some occasions we should go more defensive but it's just a beta save it's a bit of fun we'll take it more seriously when we get to the grasshopper save which of course starts on Tuesday which is going to be really really good fun I'm really excited for that save because that is a save that I planned for a long long time as Cavani looks to come forward Everton come on lad get a goal get one get one or don't Cavani <sighs> post uh, we've just scored a goal. Uh, we've just scored a goal. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I was trying to think of what to say next about the grasshopper save. But uh, Benendeski <laughs> scores from quite an improbable angle there. That's a pretty decent goal. What I was sort of planning to say was, um, during the beta, I have loaded up that grasshopper save just so I can get a feel for the team. And so that first episode isn't me going, oh, what's this? What's this? I'll, I'll know what I'm talking about. And the team is really exciting because most players there are under the age of 23. 
and most of them actually are like young players anyway and lots of five star potential so I am really excited for it and um, it's meant to be a big youth development save so that's brilliant off the bat that we've got that kind of youth development straight away as um, VAR is being called in and we've been given a penalty which Paul Pogba is going to be taking of all people apparently Paul Pogba then steps up scores it to all. Tell you what, I am pleased with the way we've come back here against Tottenham. After we went 2-0 down, I was sort of thinking, why, why are we playing this and why are we going to do the FA Cup final? We will get slaughtered. But we've come back into this quite nicely, actually, which I'm very pleased with us. We get the ball around the edge of the area. Paul Pogba back on the ball. Can he get it more central? Luis Alberto back to Pogba. Sort of forced back by Tottenham, though, unfortunately. We need to just be a little bit more decisive like that. That was a great ball forward to Diogo Delot, who puts it back to Pogba. And again, we just get the cross in. The players are there. Get the cross in quickly. Or oh, don't. Thank you. Oh, it's a, bit, it's a penalty. Is it a penalty? Sacco, VAR. It's a corner. Come on, lads. Luis Alberto's corner then swung in and it's cleared only as far as Bernadeschi who puts it back out to Luis Alberto. Everton, Luis Alberto. Ugh, offside. Thank, thanks for the build-up. Yeah, thanks for the build-up. What a great highlight that one was. We still have time to grab a third as Paul Pogba isn't going to do it by having shots like that. But perhaps Thomas Partey might do better as he plays it back towards Pogba, who's nearly lost the ball to Harry Winks there. Skriniar on the ball, back to De Gea in the end, as we look to try and build from the back once again. Holding on to possession, trying to recycle it, I suppose, is kind of what we're doing. But it is infuriating. Like I prefer a bit more quick, direct attacking football, and we'll try and do that a bit more, I think, when the grasshopper savers. Bernard Eschie comes close, Lloris puts it wide in the end to be fair we probably should have won this game looking on the balance of the stats I think Tottenham got very lucky with their two goals at the start and defensively they've been quite solid since we scored our two goals as well there is still time to grab a third and a winner though to end the Premier League season on a high as Bernadeschi comes forward into the area shoots again putting it wide just square it in the end though it is going to be a two all draw which isn't the worst result in the world of course it wasn't really going to affect anything it was more a bit of a warm-up before we go on and take Liverpool in the FA Cup final where we look to win our second FA Cup gosh you can see how good Liverpool have been this season when they've got all but three players named in the team of the year that is crazy Pogba's was in there which is good to see but Oh, that is impressive. Uh, unfortunately, Diogo Delot is injured, so he's 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 going to be out of this Liverpool game, unfortunately. I should have given an injection, shouldn't I? That would have been the sensible thing to do in this situation. But oh, we've been told to uh, to hold a team meeting before this FA Cup final. So let's do it, all right? Um, we're expected to win this final, and that's the sort of attitude I want to, sh I want to see from you guys. Let's we say that. It's actually worked. I thought that wouldn't work, to be fair. I just thought it'd be funny to say it, but it's actually worked quite well. The team are all pumped up for this game then. So maybe we actually we've got a chance against Liverpool. Maybe we've got a chance. Very interesting table. This it just shows how much money Manchester United spend and and, and make money as well. I've got to say because if you look here, uh, we have spent two hundred eighty-two million pound on wages, but our turnover is seven hundred forty-eight million. It's and only thirty-seven percent wages to turnover. That's really really good. Like in fact, that is one of the best. Uh, it's an order, isn't it? So it's like the fifth best in the Premier League. Forest are all the way down here, but they've got, you know, no wages pretty much. We just spend so much on wages that Man United are just a money-making machine. That's what they are. Which makes it even more bizarre how they're so poor in real life at the moment. They just can't seem to get anything right, can they? Anyway then, for this game against Liverpool, we've got to bring back on the pitch, where is he? Alex Sandro for the injured Delot. So that makes sense to me. Uh, Tanzabe can't be on the bench because he's got a knock, so we'll bring Gabriel on the bench instead. But other than that, I think that lineup is the best lineup possible we've got. So we're going to stick with that. The one change, Sandro coming in. Let's hope for the best against Liverpool. Right then, kickoff is upon us here at Wembley Stadium. The Northwest Derby, is that what it's called? I feel like that's a bit of a generic name. Northwest, it must be, there must be some actual name for the Liverpool Man United Derby. As we've just really danced around with the ball there. That was a bit risky. As Bernard Eschke puts it out towards Wan Bissaka, who's coming forward on the ball. Plays it back into Luis Alberto, Thomas Partey, Pogba out towards Alexandro, back from injury again. He doesn't put the cross in the middle, though. He plays it back towards Pogba, who can get it out to Juan Bissaka, who this time can surely put it in the middle. He does. Everton, wide of the mark. Come on, lad. We've got to be more clinical than that in an FA Cup final against a team like Liverpool. Been a very, very cagey game, actually. Like, normally, these two sides have a lot of shots against each other. We've had experience of Liverpool having upwards of 30 shots against us. So, say we've limited them to three right now is pretty good going. However, we are entering the break with one highlight pretty much in the whole game. Three shots apiece. A bit more than this, please, lads. We're going to go aggressive. We owe Liverpool after last time. Only one player, only Sandro, looks motivated by that. Seriously, lads. 
It's an FA Cup final. We want better than that. As Liverpool look to clear our ball there, and it goes up towards Divock Origi, who obviously is well known for his exploits in semi-finals and cup finals and things like that. So we need to watch out for him. He's a specialist in these sort of situations. I can guarantee he's going to score a 90-minute winner now as Salah puts the corner in. Origi, eventually it's cleared off the line. I'm not quite sure who got the final touch or how it ended up on the line, really, because Origi's header was going wide by looks of things but we survived that attack and now we're putting our own attack on in the 48th minute as Skriniar passes it back to David De Gea who pumps it all the way up it's a poor ball from him really and Liverpool just easily retain possession as Paolo Dybala puts it on towards Origi Wambasaka in the area can't do much about it luckily Origi puts it wide I tell you what Liverpool having the better of the second half so far our entire back line is also yellow carded as well I can I can feel a red card is coming at some point, most definitely. So we need to be very careful as uh, Gurich on the edge of the area shoots and hits the crossbar. Liverpool are getting closer and closer, which you hate to see. But it's one of those things, and I'm reluctant to make substitutes because I feel like this is a game going to extra time. Although Liverpool are now coming forward on the ball and Fabinho into Sadio Mane, who hits the post again. Gosh, that is the second time they've hit the woodwork now. <sighs> Lads, sharpen up. Okay, we, I think we will make substitutes. The thing is, I just don't think anyone's that good to come on. So we'll bring Gabriel on in that midfield position. That's the one change we'll make for now. We might make a change at the back because they're all on yellow cards and I don't want to risk them and they're all looking a bit nervous. As Bernadeschi, is he going to get sent off here? No, he's not. He, he runs away, so it's fine. And the free kick's not a highlight, so it's okay. All these players looking nervous, so I think we might take one of them off shortly probably Ayer because I want to keep Skriniar on the ball he's got the experience and he's got the head and he's the best player in the, in the defence pretty much as Luis Alberto into Gabriel Everton coming forward on the ball now back towards Pogba let's just be sensible let's not panic too much boys if we stick to our game plan we can score a goal as Cavani Luis Alberto Gabriel is through Gabriel come on lad Alisson with a huge save there in the end it was quite a poor shot, I think, actually, looking at the speed of the shot. And it was straight at the keeper. But it was one of those situations that perhaps we could have done a bit better in as we get the ball back out to the corner taker. Skriniar into Everton. Luis Alberto, Everton. Luis Alberto. Trent Alexander-Arnold gets the, uh, the tackle in. And Liverpool, through Harry Wilson, are coming on the counter. Like he's through everyone. De Gea makes a save. And it goes out for a corner for Liverpool. How are we allowing Liverpool to do that? As the corner comes in and it's not cleared as Dybala on the edge of the area back to Harry Wilson. He can put the ball back in. Anyone? Okay, highlight finishes. That's fine. We'll make another change. Cavani's not played well. We're going to bring Greenwood on. The boy who comes up big in big moments as an advance forward. And we'll also take Ayer off as well for Jason Denea who's not played for a long, long, long time. And that's probably a stupid mistake to do that. We are, though, going to be going to extra time by looks of things. So that's going to be good fun. Although there is a highlight right now. And I swear to God, if Divock Origi scores right now, I will be really upset. I think I don't think he's on the pitch, actually. That was really close. As Oh, we've nearly given it away again. Okay, calm down, boys. Let's just win the ball back now, as we have done here. Everton coming forward on the ball. With a bit of pace, now Virgil van Dijk gets a tackle in. Liverpool with 20 seconds to go, looking to do something. Although Pogba and Everton trying to tag team him there. It doesn't quite work. Goes out for a throw and I think that is going to be full time now. And we are going to be looking at extra time. Unless something magical happens here. If Sandro can just put it to Greenwood. I don't think yeah, it's going to extra time then. <sighs> Passionately, we've been the better team here. They've gained confidence from that, even though we've not been the better team. I pressed that and thought, why have I said that? Because it's not true. However, they reacted well. And now we've just got to hold on and try and grab a goal in extra time. Although the first half of extra time has just flown by and that was that. So good first 15 minutes, boys. Let's really push on as Danea's now got a yellow card as well. Liverpool coming close from that corner there early in the second phase of extra time. But we've got a corner now. Luis Alberto into the middle, cleared. But only as far as Luis Alberto, who's got another chance to put it in. Cleared. Everton over the bar. Just If that was on target, that could have been completely different. As again, another chance for us now. As our whole back line is yellow carded again. As Dene has now got the yellow card too. As he just hoofs it up. And I thought that was going to go straight to Greenwood. It didn't quite in the end. But we do retain possession of Skriniar to Alexandro. Lad, look to Skriniar. Come on. 
let's do something clever with this. Let's not dilly dally with it. Get it up the pitch and okay, I, I understand why we dilly dally with it now because that we just gave the ball away completely and Dybala Mane <sighs> scores the goal for Liverpool in the hundred and tenth minute. Very attacking now, boys. I don't even care about the replay. I just want to get very attacking, show some passion. We've got to leave everything out on the pitch now. We need to grab an equaliser. Are we going to lose it in extra time? <sighs> Unfortunately, we lose it in extra time to Liverpool. And that's kind of been the story of this entire beta save. We just get screwed over by Liverpool and Man City most of the time. They have been so good these past two seasons. Like If, they, if it wasn't for them, I genuinely think we'd have a title winning team. We may have lost a couple more games than we should have done, like the Burnley and the, and the West Ham game. But the games we lost, apart from those, are two top five sides. So that then is a disappointing end to this sort of beta save series. But I hope you have enjoyed it nonetheless. We, uh, we took it right down to the wire with Liverpool. Unfortunately, they were just too strong. But now this is it. This, this is really, really it now. The full game comes out on Tuesday and that's when the Grasshopper Stave is going to be starting, which is really, really good fun. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Football Manager, so get yourself entered. There's a link in the description if you've not got a copy yet and you've not bought one and you want one. Get yourself entered down in the description. You can win a copy of the game. I'll get it to you in time for the game's release on Tuesday. And then you can start playing on Tuesday like everyone else. And it'll be great fun. But until then, thank you very much for watching this sort of mini-series. I hope you have enjoyed it. It's gone off on a bit of a tangent because we didn't really look at any of the new features in the end. I think we looked at the development centre once. We'll look at this more obviously in the Grasshopper save. It's a bit more applicable there. I just got a bit too carried away basically playing as Man United. But I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. I'll see you on Tuesday for the Grasshopper save. But until then, have a good one. Goodbye.